All right, so I've been trying to think of the next project that I want to do, like a long-term project. So, you know I bought those those two kits, the black one and the blue one. And the blue one, I'm just going to leave how it is, just, you know, clean it up a bit. And the black one, I mainly just bought for parts. So, I don't want to do anything with those, really. So, I was trying to think of something that would be interesting and, again, it would... You know take a little bit to actually make so a lot of people have been asking about a suitcase drum set and at first i was like no nah, that's lame but the more i think about it i think it's like you know a cool project that takes a lot of you know thinking and figuring out so today i'm gonna go to a few goodwills and see if i can find a suitcase uh if not i'll go to some thrift stores but usually the thrift stores around here they kind of jack up the prices on everything while goodwill is usually pretty fair about everything so I'll go to a few Goodwills, and if I can't find anything there, then I'll go to the thrift stores. No suitcase that would work. I did buy a stapler with staples, so on to the next one. So I just got off work. There's a Goodwill over here. So I'll see if they got one. So here she be in her $4.25 glory. I didn't really look at it in the store. I kind of just saw it and I made sure the latches worked and then I just bought it. But there's a few little scratches here and there, nothing too crazy. The only thing that I'm worried about is this other side. There's a giant dent, or not a dent, but like a bulge right here. It's not a huge deal, but for $4, I'm not really complaining. As far as the drums go, I'm just going to use a snare drum and then a tom. So this is the tom off the TKO drum set. It's the 12 inch, and I plan to cut it down and make it pretty shallow so it doesn't take up as much space. And then also, I haven't done that much research on suitcase drum sets, but I've seen some that just use the suitcase by itself as the bass drum. And then I've seen other ones that have like an actual like drum and a rim you know reset inside of the suitcase uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it looks kind of weird and honestly it'll probably just sound like a tom so I think I'll just do the suitcase for now as the bass drum and I can always change it later if I need I'll probably need a softer beater so really I thought this was gonna be a lot harder but now that I'm like laying this stuff out it's gonna be pretty simple and pretty fast but really, I just need to mount a tom mount right here for a cymbal. Another one right here for a cymbal. This will be where the tom mount for the tom goes. And then either the snare will mount there or on top of here. It all depends on how high I want it. So most likely it'll probably end up on here or maybe on top. And to mount all the stuff, I'm just going to use regular tom mounts. And this will all make sense when I actually do it. So I got two there. There'll be one there. I might add one in the middle, maybe not. And then there'll be one on the side for the snare. Or, like I said, on top. I also plan to make a metal base for the bottom. So that way it'll be a little bit more stable and also I'll have a place to mount the pedal. And if that's not stable enough, I saw a picture of one suitcase kit that had like floor tom legs mounted like this. So that kind of helps it from, you know, shaking back and forth. So if stability is an issue, then I might end up doing that. So my only real concern is how to mount the snare. You can see it has a mount on it, which I plan to utilize, but I have a few different ideas, so let's mess around with that. So this is that Yamaha arm that came with that blue kit, and the reason I'm using this is this mount is a hex shape. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a hex. So this fits right in here. But this is a little bit bulky, so I have a newer Yamaha mount from my Yamaha kit. Uh, but this this arm is too too small, but conveniently I have this other arm from a Yamaha mount It's the one after this one and the one before this one. So we're kind of combining errors But this ball size should be the same as this one So I think I can just switch out the arms and I'll have enough length 
And that's the method I would use if I mount it like this, but if I mount it up here, then I need to do something a little bit different. So if I put the mount on top, this arm is no longer facing the right way because it needs to be facing up. So I can either bend this one and it'll be facing the right way, or another option would be to take this arm off of this mount and hopefully the ball size will be the same as the Yamaha's and then I can put it in here and that would work. That's not gonna work. Well, I'm gonna put the longer one in and see how that works. So as you can see, I got it back together and this is a much better option than the other one. So this will mount somewhere over here that seems like a good height. So we'll see that in the next video.